Hey, this is Emilio from Digital Bike Computing. We're gonna go through the simple steps on how to SSH into an ESXi host. We are running ESXi 7.0 and we're running through the basic steps on how to use either PuTTY or Terminal, depending on if you're on a Windows, Mac, or on a Linux computer, to be able to log in to your ESXi host using SSH. Before we do that, please remember to subscribe commenting and also liking this video and clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna cross over to my Mac. You can do this on a Mac, on a Windows, on a Linux box. We're gonna connect into our ESXi host, essentially logging into that ESXi host and then going through the steps on how to get SSH on and connected to it. So we're logged into our ESXi host. Uh, we are doing this from a Mac uh, connected over a web browser, uh, regardless of whether you're doing this on Windows, on Windows 10, through Chrome, through Firefox, you're doing this on Linux, it doesn't matter as long as you're logged in to your ESXi host uh, directly or via vCenter. So you can do this either of the two ways, as long as you are, you know, if you're doing it through vCenter, you've selected a host itself because you need to enable SSH directly on the host. So we are here logged in directly to our um, ESXi host itself on seven. You've got some information here around your ESXi host, which is great. Uh, this is in a completely demo lab environment, so yours may look different if you're doing this in a more production environment. Now. Let's go through how to enable SSH. Very, very easy to do. So we've got the host selected right here. You'll see that underneath the navigator area on the left, you have manage listed right here. So we're gonna select manage. And from here, you've got several tabs and you're gonna select services. Under services, you're gonna be looking for this one that says TSM-SSH. You see that currently SSH is stopped. So it's not actually running, which means you cannot connect into your ESXi host at the moment through SSH. Now you could be connecting via SSH uh, using PuTTY, which is a very common method on Windows, or via a terminal window on a Mac or Linux computer. So what we need to do is we need to start this service. So we're gonna select start at the very top left-hand corner, and now that service is started. You'll notice that now if we go back into our host, there is a bit of a warning message saying that SSH is enabled on this host and that you should disable SSH unless it's needed. It's, it's just more of a bit of a security risk that if it's open, you have another way to get into a host. So it's generally good practice to have it turned off unless you actually need it. Now, the next step is now we need to connect to this ESXi host. Now you'll see that my IP address for my host is 192.168.2.100. You need to know the IP address of your ESXi host or the fully qualified name. So you do, if you do have DNS configured and it's working correctly, your ESXi host could actually have a meaningful name. So you could use that or the IP address. We're gonna be doing this via our IP address. So because I'm on a Mac, um, I'm gonna be doing this via a terminal window. If you're on Linux, it's gonna be a terminal window as well. If you're on Windows, get yourself a copy of PuTTY, completely free, go and download it from the internet uh, and then you're gonna open that up and you're gonna connect into that IP address. So we have a terminal window open and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in SSH root, which is the username that we are going to be using at 192.168.2.100. Now this will be the same on a Linux box. Uh, if you're doing this from a Windows box using PuTTY and in the address bar at the very top, you're gonna put in just a uh, root at your IP address of your ESXi host. So let's select enter. It's gonna now say, are you sure you want to continue connecting? I'm gonna say yes. And now it's gonna ask me for my password. So this is the password for that root account. You would have set this root account when you were building your uh, ESXi host. Uh, you may have this saved somewhere. If you don't know it, ask somebody who should know what that root password is. If you can't do this without that root password, so get that root password to be able to then log in. And now we say enter. But now we are logged in. A bit of a, a warning there, letting me know that my login has been logged in the uh, system logs of VMware. And now I'm fully in here. Now this is uh, running, uh, this is this is a Unix backend, right? So you need to understand how to navigate through a Unix Linux uh, environment to be able to go and navigate through your ESXi host by SSH uh, into this host. So there you have it, the simple steps on how to enable and connect to SSH from your computer. Please remember to turn off and disable and stop SSH when you're not using it, it's always a good 
a security measure to not have it turn on all the time. But if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback, like this video, and as always, please remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.